I get asked that quite a bit and there's been, you know, a number of, of rumors or, you know, Ray always says they found me escaping Scientology jail, you know, just because of my name and things like that, you know. Somebody said they found me on the side of the road with the fiddle case, you know. But um, actually, I was just playing in Austin. I've, I've, I'm from Fort Worth and grew up listening to The Wheel and um, I was playing with some friends of mine and kind of starting my own solo project. I write and, and play tunes. And um, actually, I was going to be meeting some friends at a festival uh, back in, this was last May. And uh, I was at the gas station, you know, buying drinks for everybody and whatever we needed, chips and things like that. And, and I, wa I was walking up to the cashier and in walks Ray Benson, you know, and I've I always wanted to meet him and play with him and everything, and I just thought, gosh, I, you know, if I don't meet him now, I probably never will, you know, it had been some time, and, and so I ended up walking out, putting my stuff in the car, giving myself a little pep talk, and I went in there, back in there, and of course, he was in line, he was on the phone, he was ordering a sandwich, there were, you know, a bunch of people behind him, and it was kind of a funny scene, and anyway, he ended up coming up to me, and I told him my name was Katie Holmes, and of course, the joke started from there, but... I told him I played fiddle and sang, and I lived right around the corner from his office at the time, and told him I'd just swing by sometime, and actually a couple of months later I got a call asking if I'd be willing to, to play for Asleep at the Wheel full time and sing, and originally back at the time played twin fiddles with Jason Roberts, which was great. <laughs> so, so anyway, that's how I ended up in the band. It wasn't, wasn't anything more than just a phone call. Didn't audition or anything, but tell me about your background. It's it's ironic that we discovered that we think that we were at Johnny Gimble Swing Camp yeah, at the same time. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I grew up going to fiddle camps and met Randy Elmore and and Johnny Gimble and um, you know his granddaughter Emily is is my age and we've been friends since we were pretty little. Actually, I don't even remember how long we've known each other. But the first Johnny Gimble camp I went to, I think I was eight years old maybe year nine, and, and then ha just every year I went and did that. And when I graduated from high school, I went down to Waco for the little community college, their, their commercial music program, because I didn't want to study classical. I just wanted to study swing and jazz and did that and then moved to Austin and just been playing ever since then. A lot of swing stuff, and I, I'm really influenced. I love to see the fiddle be played outside of its context. So. I'm kind of into that in my own writing, you know, and kind of maybe seeing the fiddle evolve just a little bit in that way. Tell me a little bit about that. Um, well, I do a lot of that, you know, I did some of the chopping thing, you know, but I try to incorporate different grooves in that and then write, you know, I kind of, a lot of times I take from swing chords or from a swing style and then try to see where it can go groove-wise or, you know, chordally, harmonically, you know. Um, so I'm working on a record that will be out eventually <laughs> um, with, with original tunes and just playing all the time. I, I really like getting back to the Western Swing, you know, right now. It's Why? really great. Why is that? Why is that? Uh, you know, it's one of those things. I, I thought I knew, I grew up listening to, to Grappelli and Django, and I thought I really knew hot jazz until I... I was in a band where that's what we did and we really you know I really got to study the nuances and the little like fine little details that you have to really dig for and so now I feel like I've known Western Swing my whole life but I've never sat down and learned in a sleep at the wheel record every single part front to back you know so it's really fun to know the music so well like that now. Alrighty. 
Uh, my name is Katie Holmes, and I play fiddle for Sleep at the Wheel. And um, today, I was just going to do a little talking about um, fiddle functions in the way that so many of us fiddle players learn a melody, and then we play some hot solo, and then when we're jamming with other people, we just kind of let the guitar players or the bass and the drummer, you know, kind of take over the rhythm. So. I just wanted to talk really quick about being able to play rhythm and accompany yourself and you know be able to trade off with a guitar player who's playing that wants to take a little solo or another fiddle player. Or it really works for any instrument. Um, we can just do it over a basic uh, little chord progression. That's a big thing. I mean, going into chords and where to play them and how on the fiddle can, can be uh, years of learning. Um, but for now, we'll just do a quick little uh, one, six, two, five progression in C here. That A, D minor to G, and back to C. So the rhythm, we can start off thinking of it as that real swing B is kind of heavy on the two and four. So one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And if nothing else, that's a great place to start. And then add to it. So I'm kind of imitating the snare more than anything on that. And it's all down here, kind of in close to the frog. So hard, it's a little hard to slow down. Let's see. like that. You kind of get the idea of like a sock rhythm from a guitar player. Or that kind of brushy, that real brushy sort of airy kind of snare feel that you get. Kind of like that. So it works for any chord progression. It works for really any swing tune that you want to play. And it's a really great way to kind of let somebody else Take a solo and, you know, be able to jam with your friends a little bit more. So just working on that swing rhythm, really listen back to, to snare, the snare and the rhythm of the drum, and then also that old school, old timey sock rhythm. And, and there you go. So learn that and have fun jamming. <laughs> Thanks.